For there shall arise false Christs and false prophets, and shall show great signs and wonders, insomuch that, if it were possible, they shall deceive the very elect. Matthew 24, 4 On July 22, 2022, Jordan Peele released a new movie called Nope. Now, I haven't seen this movie in its entirety. However, just by watching the trailer, I was able to pick out some very interesting things that let me know that this movie, like the orchestrated satanic ritual sacrifices we've been discussing, is meant to exalt the devil, his fallen angels, and the Antichrist. Let's get into it then. Reports state that the movie grossed $44 million at the box office this past weekend. We know that the number 44 points to Barack Obama. Not only that, but the title, Nope, is a play on Obama's slogan of hope. It's been you who fueled my dogged faith in our future, even when the odds were great, even when the road is long. Hope in the face of difficulty. Hope in the face of uncertainty. The audacity, the audacity of hope. Audacity. We saw this when a poster of Trump was made into a nope poster. As a side note, for those of you who may not be aware, let me state explicitly that I am not a Trump supporter. And in fact, in past videos, I've shown how Trump, like the rest of these Satan worshipers, was chosen to play a specific role in the destruction of America, which will lead to the rise of the one world government or beast system, which will be led by the Antichrist, Obama. Someone should get to the bottom of that. And I know just the guy to do it, Donald Trump. Trump was used to represent the 16th Trump Tower tarot card which is a sign of sudden destructive change and chaos. This card follows after the 15th tarot card, which is the devil. And this is the reason Trump followed Obama into the office of the president of the United States and the chaos that ensued. Thank you, Leader Pelosi. Now, today's events have made one thing clear. President Trump is plunging the country into chaos. This is also the reason the insurrection or rebellion took place on January 6th when Trump left office since January 6th is 1-6 or 16, which points to Trump as the 16th Trump Tower tarot card causing chaos. On day one of the hearings, the committee hopes to document the horror of the day on Capitol Hill and Donald Trump's failure to do anything to stop it. She'll never, she'll never take back our country back with weakness. As I stated, this movie grossed $44 million, which points to Obama. But Jordan Peele is connected to Obama in another way as well. Peele was part of a sketch comedy called Key and Peele. And in one of the skits from this show, Peel played Obama and Key played his anger translator. Now, before I begin, I just want to say that I know a lot of people out there seem to think that uh, I don't get angry. That's just not true. I get angry a lot. It's just the way I express passion is different from most. So, just so there's no more confusion, we've hired Luther here to be my anger translator. Luther? This skit came full circle when Obama used Key as his anger translator at the White House Correspondents' Dinner. Anyway, as always, I want to close on a more serious note. You know, I often joke about tensions between me and the press, but uh, honestly, what they say doesn't bother me. I understand we've got an adversarial system. I'm a mellow sort of guy. And that's why I invited Luther, my anger translator, to join me here tonight.
Now, on to the movie. In one clip from the trailer, we see the character's father riding on a white horse when he gets killed. Apparently, he suffers a head wound and, as a result, loses one eye in the process, which gives us one eye symbolism. This points to the rider on the white horse found in Revelation 6-2.